Right. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, in my day, in the 80s, late 80s and that, when I used to come here as a kid, I used to come down Britannia Pier and used to see acts like Cannon and Ball, Little and Large, and Jim Davidson on. The thing is, today, 2024, Jim Davidson is still going. <laughs> So let's take a walk around uh, Britannia, Britannia Pier, shall we? See how much it's changed, if it's changed over the years. So let's have a walk around uh, there. A lot of people about all of this. Um, it's not even school holidays yet, so I mean it's a weekend Saturday, so, so probably that's why it's a bit more busy than usual because it's a Saturday. But uh, yeah, it's a shame about the weather. It's really cloudy at the moment. Um, you know, hopefully it's going to clear up later. But it's supposed to be nice tomorrow, but I wanted to get today get a lot of Yarmouth in so I'm going to take a walk down the beach sort of the promenade and beach area now all the way to the fair so let's check that out shall we this is Britannia Pier so obviously I'm standing on the pier now take a quick butchers right let's go down the beach uh, all the way to the fair
down there. <laughs> I'd rather jump out of a plane, I think. <laughs> plans for the future of it, doing it all. I thought they were actually going to knock it down. I know it's great listed in that, but... Uh... and that's where my granddad always used to sit on that end bit we used to come by get a couple of quid off him run down there to like an arcade what was on the uh it used to be an arcade just over there just on the pier we used to go in there and we used to play underneath a pier and we used to always play underneath a pier all the time and uh yeah this is where pretty much when we was kids we used to hang around out here. If it wasn't in the arcades down the uh, main main straight, we used to always be around. We used to see some shows in there. Obviously, they don't, I don't think they have shows now. They've got like a, it's like a, a bowling alley and uh, like a bar. Some, it's an arcade, big arcade at the front of it. But yeah, mem, 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 lots, of, lots of memories of the Wellington Pier area. Uh, yeah. Great. <laughs> to say but, uh, yeah let's go and get some donuts now I reckon I've got orders to get some donuts and usually uh, there's about four or five you pass about four or five 
and you buy what we've what we've usually found is you you probably get like one where it's like six for two quid or something like that and you get just down the road and there's another donut shop selling like 10 for a two quid and you're like bloody hell i could have got 10 donuts for the same price but i'm gonna walk down the front now i've, got, I've gone down the beach so let's take some footage of uh, going down the uh, what's it? Not the seafront, uh, but just just down the down the main street, the main main prom, if you what whatever you want to call it. Hey, look at them planes; they're pretty cool. Oh dear! Upside down. They're a bit different from the jets when I were a kid. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Join me in a bit. I think we're going to do a, a bit of a, a donut hunt now uh, along the seafront. Uh, let's see who does, a, let's see who does the, uh, the best value donuts on the seafront, shall we? I notice there's one just over the road. I'll flick it over. They're doing a. Uh, six for four seventy but I, I noticed there's quite a lot of donut shops around down the side this side so i'm going to walk down see what uh what, who does the best value donuts on the seafront so come on let's join me let's have a walk down and uh let's have a look shall we it's off we go guys donut hunting Six for four seventy or eight for five seventy there. Perry's ice cream. That's doing six for four fifty. Seafront. Let's carry on. Probably the toilet man. I just have to have a pit stop. They're clean, but they're not the uh, best pongy wise. Urine in that. Uh, right, it's starting to rain now. Sweet sensation. What have we got here? Oh, well. Six for four seventy. Sweet sensation. Six for four seventy. Another one here, look. Yeah. Same price. Six for four seventy. Ten for seven ninety. Wow. That where it said six for three fifth there, it says today's special, six donuts for three quid. I think, I think we've got a winner, folks. Hold this, just hold on a minute. I found a winner, six donuts and uh, for three three pound. But also got six for three fifty as well, which uh, so you got six regular donuts. So I've got 12, so six of these, regular ones. And as you can see, I've got six with like a new Nutella drizzle on it. So I'm gonna have to try one of them now, obviously, just to check up, check, make sure, make sure they're safe. God, this is gonna get messy. I don't know how I'm gonna carry them back though, or when to. Mm. Get it all around with God. Mm, beautiful. So yeah, that's the winner. Six donuts for three quid. Everywhere else, oh shit. Uh oh. 
I'll go and make a scout because look, uh, I've got my donuts out right here, look, and I'm getting uh, accosted by a load of seagulls. Can't see them standing long, but uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk back, check out some arcades. Um, a bit loud that one, but you know, yeah, I'm going to check out some arcades on the way back up to uh, there, then I'm going to walk back to the, uh, the chalet. There we go, guys, ended there. Uh, the Yarmouth trip, we're going in a few arcades. Um, shame about the weather, it's like I said, it's drizzly now, but uh, you know, that's how it is. Uh, I didn't film in any of the arcades, but I've done the outside so you can see what arcades are around the seafront. There was a big one at, uh, at Wellington Pier, which I didn't do, but uh, I went in them. I don't really rate them that much now, so. Uh, not like the olden days, it, it, they've got all these like claw machines and uh, dancing machines and simulators and stuff like that. It'd be nice to have some like sort of vintage retro stuff in there, but I suppose in a way it doesn't really make the money, isn't it? But uh, I thought, let's end it, let's have, a, let's have a bus trip on the way back with an open top bus in the pissing down rain. <laughs> Here we go guys, so I'm going to get some of the scenes for you from a top of the open open air bus I was gonna walk back but I thought two quid I might, might I thought may as well instead of driving them be a passenger so yeah um, check out the views guys on the way back so